Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ESP.NET Core. Today I'm going to show you the first video tutorial of vehicle rental system uh, in ESP.NET Core. So what I do in a uh, vehicle rental system, uh, this is the, uh, you can say, entity ER diagram of the project. That is, uh, uh, we have uh, the eight uh, models in the project. The first uh, model is a uh, user, the second one is a rental, and thir third one is a vehicle for status fifth vehicle type, location, model, and manufacturer. So uh, in between the relationship, uh, or you can say mapping between the uh, models is a user uh, have multiple rentals. I mean to say that a user can uh, rent the vehicles multiple. Okay, so the status have multiple rentals, and as well as vehicle have multiple rentals, vehicle type, uh, vehicle have multiple vehicle types, you can say. Okay, so vehicle have a uh, single location and the sing a location have multiple vehicles. A lo uh, uh, location have multiple vehicles. Okay, so the model have multiple vehicles as well as the manufacturer have multiple models. So these are the uh, uh, models, um, mappings in, uh, in the models. Okay, so the next thing, uh, uh, I will do in the project that is user registration page and the user login page. In the user registration page, I will use identity server and so by using membership, you can log in in the panel. Now after that, uh, we can uh, create admin dashboard. So like these are the options in the admin dashboard like the user, rental, vehicle, vehicle type, location, model and manufacturers. So that first thing is the user so how to manage the user by using the add new buttons by user add new there is no options okay first name last name email no contact number and the action is added detail and deletes the second one is the rental so uh, in the rental uh, user or you can say the client <coughs> uh, fill that uh, entry in the table uh, like date from to date status information like the booking uh, forbidden and the uh, running uh, etc vehicle info i mean to say the registration number in it here and user info which users uh, rent the cars okay so action is uh, there so vehicle information is registration number model information number model info vehicle type info vehicle info location info etc and the action is needed vehicle type that is the vehicle code and the description the location uh, location code and the name and the model that is the daily hire rates names manufacturers this is the model and the manufacturers last one is the name and the details okay these are the entry uh, i will do in the admin dashboard so uh, what is in the client page a client can uh, search locations where you can find uh, car okay uh, and the vehicle so search any locations like that uh, in New York City and the Delhi cities, etc. Et so uh, search location, uh, select a date uh, from to two, and after that search uh, the vehicle is presented or not. So registration number, model of the vehicle, uh, like sedan, car, and etc. Et Send the type of the vehicle, like sedan, car, and uh, uh, SUV types of the car. So you can easily book now by using the front page. After uh, book now button, you can entry into the system and the admin can approve uh, by the system. Uh, you can uh, rent your car. So this is the thing we can, I can do in the project. So thank you very much for watching this video. Now after that uh, you can uh, create these models like application user, like allocations, manufacturers, models, rentals, uh, status, vehicles and vehicle types. So in the application user you can add the first name, last name and rentals and application user class is uh, inherited by the identity user class. That uh, topic we will cover in the second video tutorial actually. So thank you guys for watching this video and keep watching all other uh, related to the uh, rental systems. Uh, thank you very much for watching this video.